so I am back from my half marathon and I wanted to do kind of an intro video actually a footage from the marathon as well as photos I kind of wanted to put it all together in one video because that's easier and then you get to take the journey with me so here is all of the footage starting from Saturday at the expo and here you go I hope you enjoy it I've got Brie over here with me, and we just picked up our packets, and Brie got Ariel, so she is green, I am Rapunzel, so I'm purple, and then Amanda got Belle, and she's yellow, and I would flip it around, but I can't do that. Show your packet. Oh, oh, I'm stuck. Yay! Other way. Yay! Other way. Yay! So now we're going to go into the... The real expo. Um, first, we're gonna do the tracking. Uh, they can actually get text messages of us where we are, so that's where we're going now. Um, we're gonna sign up for the tracking, so I will let you guys know when we get into the expo. Right now, we're in the Wild World Sports. This is what it looks like. Everybody's here. It's really exciting. So, um, super excited about this. Woo -woo. So, I will be back soon. We are about to get in our crowd. We are waiting for Amanda and Kristen, and all of these people are still coming. Uh, yes, it is a sea of people, and there are more people over there. It's craziness. So here's my outfit. I have my Anna shirt, and then my tutu. There's my name. It says Princess Sarah on it. Yep. So it's gonna be awesome. We're really excited, and here we go.
Latino most. We are almost done. I lost Brie and Amanda, but that's okay. So we're almost there. I'm not gonna film a whole lot more because I can't. So, Alright guys, we are almost done. and it was amazing. So first of all, let's just pay homage to my coffee cup that I got from Target. Um, it says you complete me and it has a donut hole and a donut on it. And it's just so darn cute and I love it. So anyway, so I just wanted to talk to you guys about a couple things. First of all, here is my medal. Here it is and all of its glory. So it's really beautiful and it sits on my neck really nicely like it was made for me. And this is how it sits. And I know you guys probably can't see the whole thing, but that's okay. So here we go. Basically, me and Bryce uh, traveled to Orlando where the race was on Friday and we met up with our friends Brie and Alex and Amanda and Dave. And Saturday, we actually ended up going to Millennium Mall, which was really fun. And I got a pair of sunglasses and something from Forever 21. And then we went to the expo. And let me tell you something. So I am a total extrovert, right? Extrovert to the extreme. This expo was hooked, and it had been going on since like I think Friday or Thursday. Um, they have like the whole Princess Marathon weekend, so there's a 5K, a 10K, and a half marathon, uh, and children's races, which is really cool. So basically, if you want to do the 10K and the half marathon, the 10K is something new that they started doing, and um, it's called the Glass Slipper Challenge. So basically, you do the 10K on Friday, or excuse me, Saturday, and then Sunday, you do the half marathon which is really exciting. It's 19.5 miles in all, and I will be doing that next year, so I'm really excited about that. Um, but anyway, so you walk into the expo, and there's like these two footmen. They're supposed to be like Cinderella's footmen, which as you saw in the picture. So they're like so incredibly nice, and everybody calls you a princess all weekend. It's amazing. So I saw them, and I'm like, hi guys. And well, I said, hello boys right it's me I said hello boys and they said hello princess and I was like ah, I love this Dave and Bryce and Alex all went and got a beer because they were a little stressed out there were so many females down there before you actually go into the expo you go into like a mini part where you get your bib and your like race guide so this is my bib it says princess marathon and it has my number and then at the bottom I don't know if you guys can read it it's very faint it says princess Sarah which is amazing and it has like a little tracking number on the side and it has um, on the back it has contact information so you got that and then this is the user's manual the user's manual the guide um, it basically explains everything so hold on let me see if I can find this okay so here's the half marathon course. Now I know you guys probably can't really see that, but basically it goes from Epcot, you run on the roads to Magic Kingdom, back down to Epcot um, for 13.1 miles and you finish like right in the parking lot of Epcot. So um, anyway, so and that, that's like the mini expo and then you go to like the big expo and that's where everything is. Now I wasn't planning on buying anything from the expo because I was like, I don't really need anything. And I was totally wrong. I went to the expo and I got a couple things. Now, when you go to, if you if you want to run a race and you go to an expo, I honestly encourage you to look around and I honestly encourage you to keep an open mind and bring some extra cash because there's going to be things there that you didn't think you need. So the first thing that I didn't think I needed that was essential were these. This is called Goo Energy Gel. And basically you take these every hour 
um, while you're running and you have to make sure that you drink them with water not Gatorade not anything that's like sports drink wise but with water because otherwise you can get a stomach ache I had energy I never felt like I was low on energy um, I should have taken three of these I actually ended up only taking one which was dumb I should have taken three but honestly that one that I took was amazing I also got these jelly beans made by Jelly Belly and they are for runners and I took it before the race started after that um, I was like well, you know what I kind of need a belt like I wanted to get like a fanny pack and I kind of knew I wanted to get a fanny pack going in because I knew I wanted to have my phone on me and I was gonna have um, some kind of bar or anything like that so um, there's this is not a normal fanny pack this is really cool right so it's a band and it fits right around your waist and the cool thing is is that there's like these little pockets and you literally just stuff things in there and I'm gonna show you how that works in just a second um, but these are made by level and the, it's amazing. I nothing fell out. I stuffed a ton of thing in, ton of things in here, and I'm gonna show you what I stuffed in. Um, but anyway, the last thing that I bought was this right here. Uh, this is what it came in. It's 110 percent, and it's compression plus ice gear. So these are shin and calf sleeves. So these things are amazing. Those are the three things that I bought. But anyway, so what I kept inside of here when I ran. So I had. I'm gonna show you how it works. So I have my goo gels, my stuff in here, and then I had my EOS lip balm. Um, I lick my lips when I run, so I had my lip balm. And you just stick that in here. I had two pine bars. Um, this, this, these are the ones that I got. They're the dark chocolate cherry cashew. I ate half of one before my run, probably like an hour before my run, and then um, I ate the other half 30 minutes before my run, and then during the run I had like a couple bites of the other one. So that fits in there. See how awesome that is? And then I had my phone. So oh, whoa, slippery. So then I had my phone, and I put that in the front. And my phone's not in here. I think that was it. Did I have anything else? Nope, that was it. So this is how it looked. Obviously, look. Nothing comes out. And then you just, like, reach in the little slits and you take all your stuff out. Super easy. So that was that. Um, and so anyway, so basically we started, we were in Corral O, and um, you had, we had to wake up really early. So 2.30 in the morning, up and at him, right? So 2.30 in the morning. <laughs> It was early. Um, we started getting ready, and I was Anna from Frozen. This is what I wore. This was my tutu. If you're not familiar with the princess run at Disney, everybody wears a tutu or dresses up in some form. So these have those little roses that Anna has on her on her skirt, and it's got gold and it's a blue tutu. And then I had on. Ooh, I actually made a shirt, and you probably saw it in the pictures, that shirt is destroyed. Um, I can't really wash it because of the puff paint on it, and I put gold paint on it, so it's kind of destroyed. But anyway, underneath I had on this sports bra, and this was actually the color of her cape, so I wanted to get this color sports bra. It's a Nike sports bra. And then I had on my Nike compression pants. The shoes that I wore were my Nike Pegasus 29s that have been in tons of my videos, so that was that. Anyway, we got up, we went to the bus, and um, it was me and Bree and Alex and Bryce, and then Amanda and Dave and her friend Kristen were driving. You walk in, there's like loud music, and there's like DJs, and it's so much fun. And there's like rows of potties everywhere, right? Like porta potties. And the lines were huge, but I knew I had to go to the bathroom before. So we went to the bathroom, and then we started walking to our corral. There are there were 26,000 runners lot of people and every time someone runs you get the fireworks like you guys saw in the video and it was amazing so we started running and um, it was really really great it was like we started to run and everything was fine and the boys were on the sidelines and they made a sign and um, we heard them and it was really it was it was awesome to feel that support we hit 
The Magic Kingdom was at mile seven and right down Main Street, which is awesome. And there's so many people there and everybody is like cheering and it's amazing and you feel the love and support and it's great. We were run walking and we were keeping about a 14 minute pace. We saw, I saw, we saw Bryce, Dave and, and Alex and then Alex's family and Bree's family were there as well. And we all said hi to our families and I gave Bryce a big hug and kiss and like I really needed that like right in the middle of it. It was amazing. It's debris, but me and Amanda walked through the castle together and it was really special because it was like, oh my gosh, I can't believe we're doing this. This is amazing. And Disney just does such a great job. Like every mile marker was special. They were all princesses. Um, there was like kites, there was music going. Um, make friends like along the way, people talk to each other. Going and you run through Magic Kingdom and you kind of run in the back lots. It's like really cool. Like you get to see like behind the scenes. And um, Brie caught up with us for a second and then we all lost each other. So it was like Brie, me and Amanda just like, phew, gone. Well, I knew that I had to do um, six miles, I think it was. Yeah, six miles by myself, which was like totally cool, but I was a little bummed at the beginning, but it's okay. So I turned on my music that I had turned off, and I was like, I have to have music. Like, I'm by myself, I'm not talking to anyone, and I just like went. So I ran a lot of it, and then around mile 10, I was like, I have a 5K left. That's literally all I have. I have three miles left and I'm gonna do this, right? So my legs started to burn and I was like, I'm just gonna walk. And I had this girl in front of me who was my pacer. Walking with her and um, there was a, it's like a ramp that goes back up to Epcot and it was slanted and everyone was walking on it. And at this point, because our crowd was so far back, everyone was pretty much walking anyway, so it was like really hard to get through. It's kind of a congested race. So like, we're like, I'm trying to like get through people and um, I'm trying to make my time because what happens is that there are these people that will come and pick you up if you don't make it. So there were 6,000 people that did not finish the race. <sighs> And I was so nervous I was going to be one of them. There was an instance where I saw these buses kind of pull up, right? Because we were at the we were the last crowd, like we were at the end of the race. So I saw these buses like pull out, and I thought that they were coming to get the people because I saw the door open. And, and I'm like, oh no, they are not gonna take me! And I like booked it. Like I ran so fast, it probably wasn't good, but I was like, oh, they were not. So I started running. And Anyway, so when you go into Epcot, it was so sweet. Dave was there, who's Amanda's husband, and he was like, he had, a, he had the sign, he's like, go Sarah, go Sarah. I'm making my rounds. That last mile between 12 and 13 was the longest mile of my life, and my feet started to hurt, and I was like, you know what, I'm gonna push through this pain. I can do this. It doesn't matter. I am a princess, and I'm gonna rock this, right? So Katy Perry's roar is like playing in my head, and it was amazing, and then I hear my husband, like right before I'm about to, finish, to go to the finish line, I hear Bryce, and he's like, finish strong, baby, you can do it. And I just started to run. And I ran through the finish line, and once you get through that finish line, you're like, oh my god, am I done? What? And there are these people that sprinkle glitter on you, and it was adorable. I just really wanted to see Bryce, so I, basically you pick up like a box of like snacks, and then you can go see your significant others, your family, whatever, and then all the runners are right there. As soon as I saw him, I pretty much collapsed into his arms, and I cried, and he cried, and he was like, I'm so proud of you, baby, and it was one of those moments that was amazing. I mean, that's honestly, like, it was like one of those moments, like, that's why I did this. I wanted to be strong enough and, you know, prove to myself that I could do this. I can run 13.1 miles. My official time, like I said, was 3 hours, 17 minutes. Um, I kept about a 14 and a half minute, 15 minute pace. Um, I wasn't trying to beat my best time because I don't have one. So I was super excited that I finished it and that I crossed that finish line. And so uh, now where my fitness journey is going, I want to do more. I want to do local runs. Um, me and Bryce are actually signed up for the Tower of Terror 10 miler and that's going to be in October and I want to get down to 11 minute pace. So we're starting to run and really, really train. And I'm really excited about it. It's going to be awesome. And I hope that you guys feel encouraged because you can do whatever you want to do. I on If you would have asked me in like, I mean, like three years ago, if I'd ever run 13.1 miles, I used to think those people were nuts. I'm like, why would you do that? But now I'm like addicted. I'm addicted. I really just want to do it all the time, right? So it's amazing. And I'm taking care of my body. And like, you know, I just love it. So...
that's that. Oh, I forgot to tell you guys. Uh, this is also what I got at the expo. Ew, there's hair in it. Uh, this is called a sweaty band. And this thing is magic, right? So it's a headband. I got the blue sparkly one because it matched my tutu. And plus it looked super awesome in my hair. And it has like velvet on the inside. And I have a really big head in case you can't notice. Super big head. And things don't, like I don't wear headbands like this because I can't. Um, it just like slides right off of my head. This thing like stayed the whole time the whole time and after I could have left it on all day um it's amazing so that's the sweaty band oh and you got this too this is what you got you got this oh a mesh bag and I got a shirt that's in the wash right now but it's a v-neck it's beautiful it says princess marathon it literally looks just like the metal it's amazing um but that's it I hope that this was a great video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I love you guys. Thank you so much for your support. All of your kind words have literally gotten me through that race, gotten me through this fitness journey of mine, and we're going to keep doing it together, guys. We're going to do it. Um, I hope that I hope that you go and run a race because, honestly, it is so much fun. You are with so many people that are just, like, so supportive. There was a 75-year-old woman running that thing, and she was awesome. She's like, you guys inspire people, and you will change lives. I cried, like, four times. I cried, like, four times during the marathon. <laughs> love you guys so much. Thank you for everything. Thank you for your support, and let's do this together. Let's do this together. Woo! All right, and I'm going to get Bryce on here, too, because we'll talk about our 10-miler training. Whoop, whoop. So I love you guys. I hope you're having a wonderful evening, night, morning, afternoon, whatever time you're watching this. And always remember, run, darling, run. I love you. Bye.